Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. President Rodrigo Duterte ordered one week of enhanced community quarantine, the strictest quarantine status, effective from midnight Monday through Sunday, April the 4th. This has been especially hard on this predominantly Catholic country because this is Holy Week. Religious mass gatherings are strictly prohibited, and the normally packed Good Friday and Easter Sunday services will have to be observed online. Stringent limitations have also been placed on movement within the metro. Public transportation will remain operational, but in a very limited capacity and subject to strict guidelines. Those below 18 and above 65 years of age are required to stay home, as are pregnant women and people with comorbidities. Certain essential businesses are still allowed to operate, but will be strictly regulated, and an intensified curfew has been imposed from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. The government is also deploying an increased presence of uniformed military personnel to enforce the quarantine protocols. Comments on social media and on public radio indicate a growing frustration on the part of the more than 13 million people who live here in the national capital region. It's been more than a year since the pandemic started, and there's no sign of easing. In fact, over the last few days, there's been indications of an apparent rise in the number of infections. Reporting from Manila, Philippines, for Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.